Let's play redactyl number 81. We have a single word title. It has seven letters. It must begin with a vowel because it says an whatever. Is an, and then this is a very long word, 12 letters. So let's see if there's any other plain text that might help us. Something in quotes, the blank of an blank. From within, some more quotes. This might be the origin of the word or the history of whatever this is. Yeah, that looks like the word, maybe the term, not the word, something is something in some language, maybe. Let's try language. No, no language, but four words. Since, unlike, something and something, hyphenated word. Now this is interesting. Here, we have four dash. The dash is not always a hyphen, indicating a hyphenated word, but I think in this case it has to be a hyphenated word, and we have two, three, four, five, six. So the first term that comes to mind is for profit. Aha! For profit. Um, then I would guess the other is non profit and something, and non. Hmm, I don't know what that last one is, but. Let's keep looking at our nuns, non-profit. Um, let's look at charity. No charities. Well, let's look at the plural. No. Um, non-profit organization. Of course, that word is too long for here, but that is 12 letters. Hmm. So it's not in that first sentence I thought we would see and something is an organization. Let's try society. Three societies. Um, that three letter abbreviation something something A, I wonder if that is DBA, doing business as? Oh no. AKA. No, there are two D's. Let's look at those. Oh, as late as. Hmm. I'm trying to think what those two words between the as's might be. Obviously, the other one then is a year AD. And then the other D is also going to be us of the same phraseology. Three letters and then four letters. Uh, let's try not. I don't think it's going to be there. Well, we will have some nots. Um, not be. Okay. Let's try term. Yeah, of the term something. Oh, should not be confused. Aha. Uh -huh. With the something meaning of the term. Yes, yeah, so with the something something hyphenator word. Uh, use of the term. Let's not try derived, derived from the, um, how many letters in here? 
six. Let's try French. Uh huh. Uh, maybe that the French derives from Latin. Yes. Let me go back up to the top, though. And something is in blank blank of or blank in something something or the something. Hmm. Um, let's try can, may, not a maze. I thought I might get one up here where there's a three letter word. I thought it could be and can lead to, may, has, oh, get focus, has, no, been. Okay, let's try being, let's try people, two peoples. Nothing jumping out at me there. Well, if it's a, an organization, is it helping people? Yeah, for profit. I'm very surprised charity doesn't come up here. Uh, let's try they. In which they. Which they are. Um, operated manner way hmm Uh, did I do have? No, they have been something, something as the, so. They have been called, no, but as. Hmm. Oh, something are, is that short term, long term, okay. Okay, let's look at our other long. Okay, another long term. And here we're at the end. Looks like we have some number down there. Yeah, something 50,000, maybe. Oh, around the world. No, there are seven worlds. Um, the French, that's not the French Foreign Legion, is it? No. The French, we do have foreign. <laughs> the French something something. Um, would it be something largest? The largest something something in the world? Oh, as far back as? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Boy, it's something, something as far back as some very early uh, three digit, is it? Yeah, three digit year. I 
I did use, right? Yeah. How about usage? No. Using, one using. Okay, let me try some other common words that this what when where here there there um hmm. so let's Oh, of under something, could that be underestimating? No. As a result of this, something under something. Okay, let's have a look at the two results. Let's try time, okay, over time as a result of being something. On the long term um, impact, byproduct, try all, let's look at our alls. at all times, costs, not until something did they, is that century? Okay, not until the late 20th, 19th, did they cease to be? No. Do they begin to be, uh-huh, to be something at all? Hmm. Oh, derive from the something something meaning to begin, uh, start, no, from, no, something, the something of Um, words, common words, um, English words, okay, the same, something, the root, uh, the root of wor English words such as Hmm, so I think this might be important. Uh, I see some other times here uh, in English in the something something century. Is that going to be the early 18th? No, 17th. Well, we do have the 18th there. Yep. Yeah. The word something is found, no, usually found, to foreign languages, oops, can spell it right, no, to foreign something and to, uh, to do I use, to use, no, I usually found used something in letters to foreign or missions to foreign something and something dependencies no colonies no So what would be a word in um, Latin, maybe, 
Now derived from the, um, these are two four letter words, right? Yeah, from the something something. So what language is that for for? Oldie English, no Anglo-Saxon, Germanic, no, I'm not getting it. Uh, Greek, let's try that. Okay. Form equivalent no similar well I yeah I think this is very promising this section on the derivation maybe uh, that is the title of this derivation no terminology no, uh, let's try history. Okay, oh, here's the something of whatever. Uh, let's try centuries. No, no centuries, okay. Just going to try university for no particular reason, but that may come up four times. Okay, there's something with the something university something in somewhere. Um, oh, so here's that French something of foreign who... Um, well, let's try department. No, the French something of uh, veterans. No, the French something of foreign affairs. Okay. Mm, sorry, I'm just reading through the world of something and then something with a period, so I presume that's a number. And oh, something. Hmm. Under the something of the French Something something is the largest in the world. And then we have some other countries. Let's try Spain. No. Britain. Uh, Britian. No, not even spelled correctly. England. Three Englands. There'll always be an England. So that seems to be a list in the history section. So the mention of languages in that first paragraph, it's in a list. That's, I think, what made me think of university or education. Let's try education, two educations. Is there something for England and uh, Wales? Yeah, let's try Scotland and Ireland. Okay. Of something Ireland, uh, let's try Northern. Yeah.
This does sound very administrative to me. Uh, three. Oh, okay. Let's try administration. Six. I want to try government as well. Fifteen governments. Uh, and are said, no, and are something held of that something or organization. That's six. Okay, let's look at our, we have a lot of governments. Uh, so the Greek word meaning among other things, stranger things. Um, we need to begin Let's try govern, to begin, rule, uh, something, the root, four letters, thus, maybe, no, um, the root of English words. Um, yeah, I'm just not, um, I think I'm close. Then the non-profit thing threw me off a little bit. Let's try administrative. Um, Social, maybe. Yeah, or so administrative or social. Hmm. Gonna try order. One order. Oh, in order to something, the something of their something. Let's try state. Oh, in the something state. Something. What could that be? Let's try state, see if United States is mentioned. There she blows. Ooh, quite a lot, it looks like. Oh, and then the United, that must be Kingdom. Can be referred to as an something. And something. Something, something in the United States. Let's just add some other common words. Often. Oh, with respect to their, no, with, with something to their, hmm, control. As an, these are words that begin with a vowel. R A, and then the last one begins with a consonant. Be something use of that term, yeah. So let's try politics, political, one of each. Um, let's try union. No. Um, colony. Empire. No. Language is something in politics. 
customs. No. Uh, something university or political and social something. Uh, I think I see here held in over something across the must be US. No, maybe UK. There we go. Okay, UK. The English branch. No, the English section. The English something of the UK, whatever. Uh, let's try Parliament. No Parliament. Senate. President. No. All right, let's go back up to the top and see if anything has shaken out. So three letters in that word in something something are the something something in which they are something. I mean, could it be a simple word? Well, it looks like a seven letter word, but stored. There are three stored. Uh, this looks like formerly known. Okay, in the UK, there's something, something formerly known as the blah, 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 as the government Oh, what is that word? Seven letters. The English something something is the blank blank of English blank. The something something of Scotland is the government something for Northern Ireland. So what is this? Um, yeah, I think it's just some term for government organization. Let's try the civil of civil and something public a criminal civic hmm which are something usually stored it's not not uh, how about interests interest oh was i recording there i think i may have paused at some point anyway um just in case i didn't record it i was looking down below at maintaining control to the history of an organization and i thought of archive um an accumulation of historical records Uses. Oh, yeah, I want to see this language derivation. The word archive from the French, in turn from the Greek, Romanized form of the Greek, the home or dwelling of the archon, the ruler or chief magistrate. Interesting. And, okay. I don't see, I thought there was some other language with two four letter words, but. Um, not seeing that here. We have the history, uses, etc. Let's see how what the global average was. I took 167, almost 30 minutes. There we go. Oh, so yeah, the average was 119. Uh, my accuracy was pretty good, but took me a while to come up with archive, getting a little, you know, misled by some of the words I found, as often happens with redactyl. Anyway, that's today's video. Thanks as always for watching.